Hello, welcome to this edition of Ask the Experts. My name is Callum Arnott and I'm from Past Test. Joining me to answer some questions on clinical pharmacology is Dr. Mas Chaponda, lecturer at the University of Liverpool. And we are going to discuss questions regularly raised by candidates whilst revising for their MRCP Part 1 exam. Uh, Dr. Chaponda, thank you for joining me. Uh, can I ask, what is gastric decontamination? So gastric decontamination is how we get rid of drugs that have been taken in overdose. And uh, I'll take you to a slide because there are various ways that we can decontaminate uh, the gastrin. So there is gastric lavage. This is only done in life-threatening situations where an NG tube would be passed into the stomach. But at the same time, you would also have to put an endotracheal tube so that the patient cannot aspirate. And then you would aspirate and essentially decontaminate uh, the stomach from whatever has been taken in overdose. And this can be done if it's within one hour because the tablets will still be in the stomach. Uh, Ipecac or Ipecuana is no longer recommended because when people are given that, it makes them vomit. And if they vomit, they can aspirate. It can go the wrong way into the lungs, especially dangerous when, we, with, when they've taken chemicals in overdose. Activated charcoal is the commonest way that we decontaminate the gut. This should be uh, administered routinely in the first one to two hours. Above one to two hours, it's a bit late to consider a gut ditch contamination. This adsorbs, uh, this is charcoal which is used and this adsorbs to whatever has been taken. And there is a list there on the slides of acids and alkalis, ethanol, ethylene glycol, iron, lithium and methanol. All of these adsorb onto charcoal and therefore are useful for gut de decontamination. Sometimes, which is very rare, we can actually use gastric lavage and, and whole bowel lavage uh, to get rid of uh, anything that's been taken in overdose. You can imagine someone who has taken um, uh, packets of cocaine, for example, they've swallowed condoms filled with cocaine, then what we would do in that case is whole bowel irrigation. And, and that would involve pushing those tablets right the way through or giving laxatives for uh, gut decontamination before they are absorbed into the stomach and into the intestines. Thank you. And we pose more questions to Dr. Chaponda here on our website. Be sure to watch them all and I'll see you again for another Ask the Experts.